Attention. Next up, Go. Diamond GB Challenge Cup. We've got Harbury College on the Berkshire Station, and we've got the Tyway Scullers School on the Buck Station. As it brightens up, we've got brighter conditions here now. Had rain earlier, and an early lead for Tideway Scullers. Got out smartly, got away from Temple Island, that tricky bit of the course, and they've settled into a good rhythm early. Yeah, it's a, a big margin that they've just got. Just kind of rate that. They're still up around 40 strokes a minute. Um, and they've nearly got clear water over this group from Hartbury College. Well, we'll see how long they can hang on at that stroke rate four and see whether it costs them further down the track. But you're just watching Hartbury College there trying to stay in the race. It's a, a young Hartbury College boat as the wind picks up. A great gust of wind hits our commentary box, which is uh, still 2,000 metres away from where this race is. We've got two 18-year-olds and two 17-year-olds in the Hartbury College boat. Yeah, and quite similar in Tidro Scholars, two 18-year-olds and 17-year-olds, one 16-year-old uh, in the two-seat, Amalka Delavante. Um, so she's mostly been rowing this year in a J16 double, but um, she's clearly made the cut for this Tidro Scholars quad, and they look really classy at the moment. What is going on with the weather? We've got uh, gusty winds now at the finish line. The sun's coming out for the first time, and Imogen is currently trying to sweep water off our notes, which is dripping quite heavily into the commentary box. It's good you're here, Imogen. Why don't you take off that smart <laughs> Cambridge blazer and dry up our notes with the Cambridge blazer? Well, uh, I think I'll keep it on to keep myself warm. <laughs> uh, we're just riding here now with Hartbury College quads at the moment. Sparsi, Imogen, Ma Mayer. Um, by Rob Jones, Chloe Shepherd, and Millie Harrell. It's always nice to see another Imogen uh, racing at Henley Royal Regatta. Um, they came, uh, Imogen came uh, fourth in the Champ Girls double at Nat Schools. Um, there was also a silver medalist in that three seat for Hartbury um, in the single as well. Um, and uh, Imogen was joined uh, in fourth place with by Mer Millie Harrell, who's in the stroke seat for Hartbury there. Um, they look like they're rowing well, just maybe not quite the uh, the power and um, the acceleration that the Tideway Scholars quads are able to exhibit. They've got good experience. I mean, the finalists in the junior quads at Henley Women's Regatta, beating Wycliffe in the Met Regatta, finishing fifth in the championship quad. So that they're a, a boat who have enjoyed good success already this season. Yeah, definitely. And I think they've probably got quite high hopes. Um, two of the girls in this crew, both of the 18 year olds, are heading over to the States next year for their university careers, uh, going to row for Harvard, at Harvard and Princeton, uh, respectively. And um, a couple of the girls in this quad as well have already got international representation. Um, Orla Harvey in the three seat represented GB at the European Junior Champs, the Coupe de la Jeunesse, in the quad last year and got a bronze medal. So heading in front of the enclosure still in the early stages of this race Tideway Scullers on the buck station you can see they're enjoying a lead yeah they look so relaxed I really like the way they're taking that catch it's just sweeping up dropping it in I'm just big looking at the flags on the Berkshire bank in all those enclosures and they are being blustery uh, gusting you can see that the wind has picked up a little bit in the last few minutes is that if the wind picks up or the conditions change either whilst you're on the water or just before you start, it's something you have to just deal with, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. Um, it can sometimes be a bit of a surprise. Uh, you do all of your warm-up expecting certain conditions and preparing for those, and sometimes when you sit on the start line, you feel a gust of wind and you think, uh-oh, <laughs> something's changed. Um, but for these guys, I think they're all experienced competitors. Um, they know what to do in all of these conditions. Just saw the tea seat there of Hartbury College, uh, Viva Robjans, have a look around, make a call to her crew. She's really urging them on, um, keeping the straight rate high, trying to keep it really dynamic, see if they can inch away and eat away at that lead that Tideway Scholars have. But they're sitting out front looking pretty confident and controlling this race at the moment. And away from the wind, I wanted to ask you about the wet, because we had rain earlier on, trying to grip the oar. Yeah, it's, definitely. It can be tricky. Because I, mean, I always think, well, rain shouldn't bother you too much, but presumably that is a factor. It can be sometimes. Um, you know, you don't want novice death grip uh, being the end of your race. Um, and sometimes uh, the rain can definitely make your handles a bit slipperier. And in a quad, there's a lot of blades to manage. Um, 
but I don't want to curse these crews and talk about crabbing because uh, I'm sure they're far too um, skilled for that to happen. Yeah, bouncing around the water a little bit, is it? More choppy. Heading down the course. Hartbury College with work to do. Yeah, Hartbury had a race yesterday, but I think Tidro Scholars um, today is their first race, so maybe Hartbury have got a bit more on the legs. Um, yeah, Hartbury yeah. beat Wycliffe Junior Road Club by a length and three quarters on the same station, on the Berkshire station yesterday, which helps with familiarity at least. A steady race evolving for them yesterday. So you can see the Tideway Scudders there still leading. The stroke seat, Alice McCarthy, or the Harvey in three. Amalka Delevant and Alice Metcalf in the bow seat that you can see there as they come through the shots. Yeah, great example of how to work quads. Passing the progress ball. Highway Scullers sculling at 30. Dean Parkley sculling at 37. So, as they head over the line, that'll be it for Hartbury College in the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. The Tideway Scullers School will progress through to the next round. They go over the line with a couple of lengths to spare.